Welcome mental warriors. Today we are going to give you some tips on how to overcome social anxiety. If you feel out of practice socializing after a few years of social distancing, you're not alone. If you feel more anxious than usual when leaving the house to socialize, that's totally normal. As is occasionally feeling overwhelmed or out of your element in large crowds. Social anxiety is anxiety that occurs in social situations. If you have anxiety that routinely pops up in social situations that causes distress or inhibits you from doing things you want to do, then we might start to consider this a disorder. A person with social anxiety disorder would have frequent anxiety, panic, or significant discomfort in social situations. Then they would want to avoid that situation or would enter that situation with a lot of distress. It's important to address your social anxiety, even if this feels difficult since it can have a major impact on your life. It can have negative effects on your friendship, career, love life or even family. It can affect you so badly when you miss opportunities. When a person is isolated, it can lead to depression because a person can miss opportunities to have good time or enjoy themselves and feel connected with other people. Social anxiety is very treatable. All those strategies for overcoming social anxiety depend both on your individual personality and how much this disorder is affecting your life. For example, if you have panic attacks when going out in public because you're so overwhelmed, you might need medication, psychotherapy or a combination of both. Less severe anxiety might be better served by a different treatment option. Here are some approaches on how to deal with social anxiety. 1. Try speaking in public. This is only for people who have mild to moderate social anxiety disorder. For example, it's not causing you panic attacks. So finding ways to practice public speaking is a good approach. 2. Cognitive behavior therapy. Cognitive behavior therapy is probably the most well-known and most practiced form of modern psychotherapy and has been integrated in highly structured package for treatment of patients suffering from social phobia. Among the different kinds of psychotherapy available, cognitive behavioral therapy, which involves making changes to the way you think and feel about a situation, which in turn can help you modify your behavior. It's a helpful way to approach social anxiety. With social anxiety specifically, you want to identify patterns of thinking that cause you to avoid social situations. Like if a person is always suspecting the worst outcome or a person is fixated on the fact that someone might see them blushing, sweating or stammering. You want to help them learn to challenge those expectations and adopt more positive self-talk rather than negative self-talk. 3. Exposure Therapy for Social Anxiety Disorder Exposure therapy for social anxiety disorder can help you overcome fears of specific social and performance situation. Although exposure training is normally conduced with the assistance of a therapist as part of cognitive behavior treatment program, it can also be incorporated into your daily life. For example, if you have a fear of large groups and you've been avoiding group activities, start by going out with friend one-on-one. -on -one. Then work your way up going out with small group of friends. Repeat as needed until you feel more comfortable before attempting to go to a restaurant or a bar, where there can be more people. You can also work on situational exposure with support of a therapist. Like cognitive behavior therapy, exposure therapy is a type of treatment a trained psychologist can provide. If you have social anxiety, you most likely face those types of situations with fear and drain or avoid them completely. This strategy can sustain your social anxiety in the long term. 4. Help from your closest people. 
for people who love and care about you, seeing you struggle with anxiety every day can be very difficult. Friends and family usually want to help you to deal with your anxiety. 5. Self-help Self-help is one of the most empowering things you can do for yourself. Even so, walking on the self-help section of your local bookstore or even admitting you're feeling anxious can sometimes feel as downing as the anxiety itself. It's time to close the door on stigmatizing self-help and anxiety and open the door towards taking care of our mental health. There are many self-help options for anxiety. If you're listening to this, you're already taking an empowering step towards taking care of yourself. Read about anxiety. Talk to other people that have been through anxiety. Talk to yourself. Be your own best friend and therapist. Thank you for watching. We hope you like this video. Share it with somebody who needs it. We would really appreciate if you subscribe so we can continue sharing mental health content.